Uh, all right, let's close out today's show. We're already over 30 minutes, but that is totally fine. Uh, let's talk about the all-decade team in the NFL. This is from the 2010s. Um, they had eight unanimous picks for the all-decade team. Uh, let's go ahead and, and give those out, and then we'll talk after that. Uh, Tom Brady, J.J. Watt, Adrian Peterson uh, were all unanimous. And then along with that, you had uh, Von Miller, Aaron Donald, Joe Thomas, Marshall Yonda, and Justin Tucker. Um, the Everybody is active except for Thomas and Yonda. Uh, now, Joe Thomas, of course, being on this, Calvin that's your Johnson. dude. That's yeah. That's Are your you guy. talking about of the uh, unanimous people of the yeah yeah. Joe, I'm just talking about Joe Thomas being on here. Is is your guy? Oh yeah, no yeah. Like, my if if Tom Brady didn't exist and play for the Patriots, my entire basically life, the 20 years that I've followed <laughs> football, he's been a part of my life. Then yes, Joe Thomas would be my favorite football player of all time. Yeah, he is. He is second to somebody that's that's a different realm and level. Yeah, my my love and a free appreciation and, and and attraction to Joe Thomas is is pretty unbelievable. And yeah, there was no question. I think he's the I think he's the greatest offensive lineman to ever play football. To yeah, I, ever okay. play football in the history of the game. I could buy that. I could totally and buy it's that. Sad that he played it with my shitty Browns. It, yeah, yeah. I, I would love to see him. Never. I'd, I'd love to see him on the team now. Which, by the way, you see your Browns are uh, are in the running for Jadavian Clowney. Yeah, they should be. They should be. They got cap room and they have holds on defense. Absolutely, yeah. I would. Right. I would be ecstatic if they got if they got Clowney. Ecstatic. Let's uh let's roll through the offense, defense, and special teams. I'm just gonna run through. Super I, I only fast. have I only have when you can roll through them. I want to know. Do you have any disagreements? And because I have two of the whole thing, a lot of players here. I only have two that I think are complete wrong misses. The roll through them. No, I, um, uh, well, when you know, I tell right, you the two, I think I can sell you on the two, by the way. You probably can. I could buy that. Uh, but let, let's, let's get through them and then we'll, uh, and then we'll see which everything is freezing up on me, slowing down on me, but here we go. All right. So here is the offense. Yep. Um, which I swear to God, everything is slowing down and I don't know what's wrong. Uh, I've got let's it. see. You quarterbacks. Here we go. Uh, quarterbacks, Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers. Wide receivers, Antonio Brown, Larry Fitzgerald, Calvin Johnson, Megatron, and Julio Jones. Uh, Rob Gronkowski and Travis Kelsey are the tight ends. Tackles are Jason Peters, Tyron Smith, uh, Joe Staley, Joe Thomas. The guards, uh, let's see, Jari Evans, uh, Logan Mankins, Zach Martin, Marshall Yonda. Centers, Alex Mack and Marquise Pouncey. Uh, running backs, we've got Frank Gore and, let's see, uh, Marshawn Lynch. Marshawn Lynch. Yeah, LaShawn McCoy. McCoy. Yeah, Adrian, Shady. Adrian Peterson. Uh, okay, and so, and, and your flex, of course, Darren Sproles. I, I thought that was weird. I, they were trying to find a reason to put Darren Sproles in there. for I, That didn't make any sense. Um, Darren Sproles has been an unbelievable player for a very long time. Love the guy to death. He didn't belong on this list. So, that's... Uh, are, are, are the people that... Uh, so you said that there are two on this entire list that you disagree with. One offense, one defense. Is the one on offense a running back? Nope. Oh no, I think they got the running backs dead on nuts. I really do. I really do. I tried to find a running back I could put on there. I I think these are the best over the decade. It's so it hard. Probably, maybe you so. Don't play running back very long. Yeah. And, and Shady McCoy. I I like. I remember she, when he yeah. was so so good. The early in the decade, he yeah. was the best player in the world for a long time. I mean, it's just hard to keep him off. It's it's just yeah. impossible to keep him off. Yeah, you're right. Frank Gore, I think I think they probably got right. Frank Gore got to be it. Marshawn yeah. Lynch, yeah, I think I think so. And Peterson's no no question the unanimous guy. Yeah, He's that's... Just, uh, so the only guy on offense that I disagree with, and 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 I know that I know this is all going to come back to me as hate because it's a guy I dislike. But is Aaron Rodgers, and and it's not hate. This is strictly with the numbers, man. He won one Super Bowl. He he played the ten years. In those ten years, he won ninety six games. It's nine point six wins a year. Russell Wilson's career is only eight years long. 
He's two years short of Aaron Rodgers' stats on this thing right here, and he's 10.75 wins a year. A, he didn't have his crappy rookie years that Aaron Rodgers had, so he had a couple bad years that don't get on this because those were before the 10 years. So you get his entire career. He's made an extra Super Bowl that Aaron Rodgers didn't make, so they both have one Super Bowl in the decade. Russell's made it to two back-to-back on those. And he's been an incredible player. They Head-to-head wise, the Seahawks have been better than the pack, Packers, uh, you know, for the I, most okay, part of I, their career. I could agree with you on this. I, I, I think I, Russell Wilson is it. His only knock is he didn't play all 10 years. Well, that can't be the knock. I, because I don't think it's don't just about much. wins, though. I think, like, I, I think Aaron Rodgers, as far as a quarterback goes, is – uh, about as perfect a quarterback as you can get. Like, I, I understand it's all about winning. I get all of that. But, you know. Do you know. think if Russell Wilson was able to play in those systems that were built for offense with the athletes that he had, that Rodgers has had, he wouldn't be far better than what he's been? If Aaron Rodgers had to play on an all-defensive team with no offensive weapons except for Marshawn Lynch and a shitty offensive line his entire career, he would be any good? Because we've seen him with the shitty offensive line. He won four games. True. I, 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 man, I don't know. I, 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 like, I, know, I know it seems like hate because I have spent so much of my career hating on this guy. I don't like him. But this isn't like or hate. One guy has done far more with far less than, than the other, and it's not close. It's not close. Yeah. No, you're, you're the right. The amount of wins per season – not close. He does not have a four-win season and a six-win season on his resume. Aaron Rodgers has three win seasons of six or less wins. True. Okay. In those you, 10 years. Okay. You, you he can, ain't got that. He's you can never, sell me on it. He's won one nine-game season. One. Everything else has been double digits. Only Tom Brady has that in his resume. Only Tom. Let me, uh, let me go through the... 2010's all-decade defense, and then I'm going to try and pick out which one you have on here. Uh, okay. Let's see. Calais Campbell, uh, Cameron Jordan, Julius Peppers, J.J. Watt for defensive ends, defensive tackles, Geno Atkins, Fletcher Cox, Aaron Donald, and Dominican Sue. Inside linebackers, you got Luke Keekley, Bobby Wagner, Patrick Willis. Outside linebackers, Chandler Jones, Khalil Mack, Von Miller. Uh, cornerbacks are Patrick Peterson, Darrell Revis, and Richard Sherman. Safeties, you got Eric Berry, Earl Thomas, Eric Weddle. Defensive backs, Chris Harris, Tyron Matthew, uh, the Honey Badger. Um, which one do I 